good afternoon, everybody. Uh, at, I, first, I think we're going to take a minute and clap for Ryan because I think he's put on a heck of a district assembly. Clap now, Ryan. It's not even over yet, but it was great. It was great. So uh, I've been asked to just spend a few minutes and give a Ryla recap. And uh, if anybody that knows me knows that I get very jazzed up about Ryla. Uh, I've been involved with the Ryla program for many, many years. Um, I also had a moment when we had to cancel last year. It was very hard to do. And I'll, end, I'll conclude my uh, remarks here in just a very few minutes talking about that whole concept of a moment. Uh, so, you know, it's wonderful to have young people in your life. And I have two wonderful young people in my life. Um, and that would be Sydney Himbro, and Z uh, who is a um, former Interact, Rotaract, and current uh, club member here in Jacksonville. Also, uh, Zane Phillip, who has been back in the States from Brazil for about six or seven months now. They drug me kicking and screaming into the virtual Ryla um, uh, arena. I want to also say, while I'm giving my thank yous to uh, PDG Mark and current District Governor Mara that pulled all of their um, governor classmates to find out what other uh, districts were doing about Ryla. And I did find a really cool Ryla program and I spent a lot of time looking at it and investigating it and began to chat with the people. And they were really glad to put on a RILA for us uh, for $300 per student. And I didn't think any club out there would really go for that. So we created our own RILA and we conducted that uh, virtual RILA as a, a day long smile or most of a day long smile on April the 17th. I also want to take a moment and sincerely thank Musanda from the Edwardsville Club, who was my Zoom master. There you are, Musanda. Hey, I found the coolest gift for you, and I'm bringing it to you on the 29th of April. Just, just saying, it's just, it's your vibe. So at any rate, uh, we had a plus 50 students on the Zoom. So I want to also, while I'm thanking everyone, thank the clubs that um, shared their, their community students with us and specifically thank the clubs that delivered lunches. And in Galesburg, we had a very uh, tech savvy um, uh, Rotarian that took pictures and has, have, is gonna share that with everybody. I hope that's gonna make it out onto the, um, to the district easy stories. So that was one way that uh, Rotarians could connect with the students. We also had a moment in the middle of Ryla, where we got to get to know our district governor elect. And you know Ryan to be funny, and he was, and we did a great, we tapped into what young people love, which is competition. And we did a great um, uh, rotary trivia. The answers were hilarious. Um, some of the multiple choice choices I didn't know or get, but the kids did. So that was cool. Uh, and we did find out uh, just how much young people like to, uh, to compete with one another. Uh, we started our Rotary, our, our RILA event with uh, All My Friends Who, uh, which is a traditional game. And we did that virtually on uh, Zoom and it worked out well. That was thanks to Sydney's great creativity. Um, but what I really, um, really wanted to say at the top of this too is I really wouldn't have done this if I hadn't sat and and, and experienced district conference. So I just want to give real true credit to Mara, uh, our, dis our beloved, I think somebody said long, this gave her another acronym a while ago, but our beloved district governor, current sitting district governor, because she really, really figured out how to do a district conference. And when I saw that her Zoom master was Musanda, and I'm pretty sure that I, I could ask Musanda to do something for me and he would do it, and he did. So that's how we really got our virtual Ryla. Again, we had 50 plus students. Um, it was difficult to go virtual, um, but they did get connected, which is a big goal of um, Ryla. They did get to meet youth exchange students. We had uh, former outbounds that are now what we call rebounds there on the Ryla screen. And we also had youngsters 
from internationally. And I think our young man, Eric from the Philippines was participating in Ryla and it was about like midnight or so in, in his country. So it was a great event for Youth Exchange to be a part. And then um, we also really wanted to show the Ryla students their opportunities because that's, you know, Ro Rotary opens doors. Uh, while Ryan and I are very, very excited about our Serve to Change Lives theme, we are knowing that Rotary has opportunities uh, opening doors. And so we invited Chad Anderson to come and speak to us over our lunchtime. We had a working lunch. Uh, students that had lunches delivered to them had them right there. And we had um, a taste of Rotary is what we called it. Clever, wouldn't you say? Uh, and we had found there are out on RI, there are two minute clips, little videos that just give about, talk about the six areas of focus. The seventh area isn't up yet. And so Sydney was able to talk about that for a little bit. So we really exposed the students to a good little piece of Rotary. Um, and then through Chad, they heard about the Mingini Scholarship. And that was really great. And then, you know, Ryla in the real is um, very much about the, uh, the students collaborating and learning how to work in a group and, and all of that. And so we thought, how do we do that um, virtually and through the wizardry of Musanda, who, believe me, never gets never gets flustered. I just ne never seen the man get flustered. We were, we were grouping kids into appropriate groups, what, Musanda, three and a half minutes before we did it. So we took the students and we put them into little breakout rooms and they actually crafted action plans. And they were amazing. And I can tell you that we're going to steal some of them for uh, the, the Rotary Year 2021-22 uh, for our community service projects. They came up with great activities. They worked together in their small group. I was so touched by the uh, interactors from Havana. Havana always rocks it. And they've already connected with their club. I think I've heard they've already spoken there. And there's also some conversation already going on about taking action on their um, mental health initiative that they're wanting to do there in Havana. Um, I know the Springfield kiddos were very excited. And I know that there's a potential, as I think I heard from Beth Allen, uh, for a five club, five club collaboration based on some of the action plans written um, uh, during RILA. We had one young lady to date that's interested in going outbound. That's another big focus. Uh, oh, we, how many, Tip? Oh, yes, we have more now. Good, good, good. The youngsters, I should back up. I got my brain going too fast today. Uh, the students received a package from us. They received a package with a T-shirt, with a pin, with a great flyer that Tiffany uh, developed that talked all about how to become a youth exchange student. And then they also got their hard copy action plan so they could actually sit there and take their notes. So we got all of the components of Ryla in there. And I want to conclude real briefly when I talked about the moment. When we scheduled for an in-person Ryla, we try to cram like everything in that weekend. From the minute they get there, they're playing the game, all my friends who, which is how they get acquainted. And every minute up until they just are exhausted, which is really late at night, we're doing stuff. And one of the things we schedule is that moment at the end of Ryla, when it's time for them to go home, they don't want to go. And I really wondered what that was going to be like virtually. And I can tell you, Musanda here as my witness, and Sydney and Zane saw it as well. They did not want to leave the Zoom. They did not. They hung out. Now, it wasn't the hugging. And the, you know, all the high-fiving and all the crazy stuff that the kids were doing there in the big room at Lake Williamson. But we had our moment. We truly had our moment. So again, I say thank you for uh, clubs that shared, clubs that delivered lunches, to all my uh, wonderful Rotary friends that helped.